in this video, I want to take you through and I want to demonstrate for you an entry strategy that I demonstrated in the stock market oh, a couple of weeks ago in one of the videos. And I've had several questions from some of our students and some of our members of our President's Club asking me to demonstrate how that was done once again. And I thought maybe if I did it for them, you guys would enjoy seeing it as well. So here we are in the futures market and I have the four markets open, the, the indexes. I have the Dow, the NASDAQ, the Russell, and the S&P. You can see that I have a one minute chart open on each one. Now, I'm not saying that this is the most opportune time to be getting into these markets. I'm just demonstrating for you a strategy in which you can use to enter the market, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna come in and I wanna identify how much money I am willing to risk to find out if the market's gonna to continue to rise. So I use my dollar calculator. And all I do is I just draw from where the market is currently trading down to where I want to put my stop. And let's say I want to put my stop at the lowest level here. Now that would be for one contract $15. Now depending on the size of your account, you can, you know, you can risk more or less depending on what your risk tolerance is. So we're going to come into the preferences tab and I'm just going to run this up and I'm going to say, okay, I'm willing to risk, uh, you can say, let's say $100, okay? I'm going to willing to risk $100 on this particular trade. Maybe you're not that brave. Maybe you're willing to risk $50. So there's the closest we can get, about $46. And that would be quantity three. So then we just come over to our trading tab. We say three, and we hit buy. We're in the market with three. We're going to risk $46, roughly 50 bucks on this trade. We put our stop back here behind the area of support. And that would be our risk versus reward ratio. Now, the reward, of course, would be where we think this market's going to go, but this would be our risk ratio. Now, you can calculate the risk ratio in a number of different ways. You can calculate it against your open equity. You can calculate it against, uh, you know, how you uh, your risk tolerance, which is how much money you're willing to uh, give up to find out if the market's going to continue to rise. There's a number of ways that you can calculate this you know, depending on what, again, your risk tolerance is. Now, of course, this is a static stop, and it's sitting right here behind this low area of support, which would be $46 on three contracts. Now, there's several things you can do in here. You can come in here, and you can break these apart. You could come in, and you could say, I want um, one contract sitting here. I want another contract sitting, and I'm going to come in here and just drop this in on the blue lights and say, let's edit that. We're going to trail that one on the blue lights, and then we're going to come in and put another static stop, maybe a single static stop at this underneath this at level of support right here. So we have our, our stops broke apart, so it gives us more staying power. If one gets stopped out, we don't you know, get stopped out with all three. So the market could come back, hit us, and then continue to rally. So there's a number of strategies that you can use once you uh, make this determination. So let's go in and let's do it again. Let's come in and do it on the NASDAQ. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to draw our dollar calculator and we're going to say, well, we're going to willing to risk. Uh, let's come in here to our preferences and we're willing to risk on this one. We're not uh, as positive. Maybe we are only going to do, you know, con two contracts. But uh, for this example, let's go up and we'll do a hundred. Uh, we'll do five contracts. All right. So we're going to risk a hundred dollars. So we're going to come over to our trading tab and that would be five contracts. So we're going to say five contracts. And we say we're going to buy the market, and we're going to put our five contract stop right there. Now, we're going to risk $100. If the market stays above this area of support and continues to rally, we'll be in with $100. Now, remember, we're in the mini micros in this, in this situation. So the mini micros, each contract represents 100 shares in the regular stock market. Okay, so we are risking 500 shares in this case. So we have 500 shares, which is why this would be the risk that it is. If we come over here to the key, you can see that we're controlling 500 shares on a day margin for $500. So you can control 500 shares for $500 on uh, the E-mini micros. Now we're losing on this one here, and we have our stop set here at 5. So we're going to let that one go. And we're going to come down here to the next one on the Russell. We're going to do the same thing on the Russell. We're going to draw our dollar calculator in there, $21.50. So we're going to come in and we're going to go to the preferences tab and we're going to run that up. Let's say we're going to be willing to risk another $100. That would be five contracts. So let's come in here. That would be $500 on our day margin. And uh, we're going to come into the trading tab. We're going to say five contracts. We're going to go ahead and hit buy. And on this one, let's do a, something a little bit different, all right? So we're going to risk this. So let's come in here, and I'm going to exit the chart, take that position back off, and I'm going to use a stop for entry. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to risk at this point. I'm going to say, let's come in and let's trail. We can go edit, trail, and we can go price bars back, and we're just going to trail one price bar back, all right? 
And if we trail one price bar back, it will just continue to trail down the market until the market turns and starts to rally once again. I oftentimes like to do this more on a five-minute chart when I'm looking for an entry. I like the first five-minute chart or a first five-minute bar to make a new high for an entry like this. But you can see we're doing this on the one-minute chart. We're going to trail down, so we're not just going to hit the market order and get in. And you'll hear me say oftentimes, uh, you know, not to use market orders for entry. So this is a good way of using a stop order, making sure that the market's rallying in your favor. And then when it turns and starts to go in your favor, uh, you have a more likely uh, chance of getting into the market. So we wouldn't be getting putting our stop order in this order or in this situation until our order gets filled. But at this point, we could recalculate our risk re tolerance and then recalculate our Fibonacci projection, which is where we get our reward. So now we're in the market. We have five contracts. And our risk, we know at the very bottom down to this lower level, is $100. So we can now come in here and break this apart once again. We can come in and maybe we'll put two of them down here at the very bottom. And we're going to put, uh, let's put one right here underneath this area of support. And then we'll put two more on a stop. And I'm going to drop it way down here, but I'm going to come in and go edit. And I'm going to tell it to trail on the blue light system. So I hit blue light system. And now we have three stops in there for for a total quantity of five, and we're anticipating a rise in price. The max loss would have been the dollar amount that we drew from our entry to our exit, but we're not going to take max loss because we broke our orders apart and put them at different locations. So this is a breakout or bailout strategy. We want the market to rally and go in our favor. Otherwise, we're just going to get out and take our lumps. All right, so let's come down and we'll look at the next one. And we're going to come in and we'll do the same thing. Let's say we're going to go short on this one. So we would draw from where the market's breaking the blue lights to the downside back to the upper side. So that would be $12.50 per contract. And we're willing to risk, let's say, $50. So that'd be four contracts. So we're going to come in here and we're going to go to the trading tab. And we could, again, we could just go ahead and hit the market order for quantity five and sell five at this point and put our stop right behind that lo location where we calculated for the $50 loss. Or we could break that apart. We could put a stop order in there, let the order fill on the, as the market moved in our favor, uh, and then we could break our stops apart and trail them at different locations as well, uh, going for a short position. So that's just a quick wrap-up of how to enter the market using the strategy that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Hopefully that answers a few questions for some of you guys who had questions on how that's done. And uh, I wish you luck. Mm -hmm.